about the, all the ways that we lived on the land through hunting, picking our medicines and our beautiful way of life that was interrupted. We were removed from the land, forbidden to perform our ceremonies, forbidden to speak our languages. Now our indigenous youth, my generation, the seventh generation, the eighth generations, we're bringing back our culture and traditions. And to all the indigenous youth, to all the indigenous youth in the audience, I want to say, get an announcement in for your advocacy, for your bravery, for this work was paid for us by our ancestors, by our aunts and uncles, by our grandmothers and grandfathers, and so many of our relatives. They've made this possible for us to be here today. And we owe it to them, ourselves, and the future generations to say no more land ex uh, extraction, no more exploitation of water, no more exploitation of our peoples. What people need to understand is to fully have an environment, a clean environment, a clean green world, we need indigenous leadership because it is our ways that have always kept this land clean. We are the ones that will lead us the way forward. Our indigenous youth are already leading. They're already speaking. They're already speaking out against the corporate dictatorship that's happening. Land is not owned. We don't own land. We belong to it. Mm -hmm. I just want to say your sign is upside down. You're the friend. <laughs> Sorry. It's one of those things. Um, <laughs> and I want to say we're all here together. We need to come together under one principle with the same ideas and vision. We need unity. We need to put aside things to be fight for our environment, for fight for a better world for all of us. It will take indigenous peoples, non-indigenous peoples, it will take our immigrant relatives, our relatives that are um, impacted by socioeconomic conditions. We need to fight for them too and we need to bring them into our movements. We need to adapt as our, my indigenous people have all this entire time. They've adapted and that's what we are meant to do as a people. We're meant to live here, but we have to live here together. And it is the indigenous people that have the capacity and the ability to unite all of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In closing, I would like to remind all of you to, to stand with water protectors, stand with land defenders, stand with young indigenous youth who are fighting for their, for their communities, for their families. We owe it to them. Listen every other day. We're gathered here now, but we need to carry this act, this energy with us forward in our lives. Every single day of life, we need to be demanding climate justice and for indigenous sovereignty and for the self-determination of indigenous nations here. So thank you, everybody, and thank you to all the other speakers. Thank you to the drummers, the elders for their prayers. Uh, thank you.